Robot vacuums are becoming more popular in today's day and age, and when Era Bros reached out to me about their RS1 robot vacuum, I couldn't say no to a review. It has standard features like cliff sensors and proximity sensors, as well as dual side brushes, a large dust tank, a remote control, and app control with smart home integration. The RS1 robot vacuum does have up to 140 minutes of battery life via its 4400mAh battery. As a sub $200 product, this robot vacuum does not have features like obstacle avoidance, mapping, or auto empty. But for the price, this is a great robot vacuum for a small home or apartment without spending hundreds of dollars. Although Error Bros did send me this product, I always keep my reviews true and honest. I am not paid for this review and I intend to keep my reviews honest with my own personal opinions. Inside the box is the quick start guide, user manual, two AA batteries for the remote control, an extra HEPA filter, a cleaning brush, the power adapter, the charging dock, and the RS1 robot vacuum itself. Also included in the box are a few zip ties, the remote, and two pairs of side brushes. After removing the protective packaging, let's take a closer look. There are three proximity sensors on the bumper. Towards the back, there is the main power button along with the charging port as an alternative way to charge the vacuum. Below the cover, we have access to the dust tank and some instructions on how to pair the RS1 to the Smart Life app. Removing the dust tank is easy, which also gives us access to the internal components of the dust tank. Reinstall it by popping it back in place. Underneath, there are two drive wheels along with the suction port. The suction port does have a squeegee to prevent particles from being left behind. Beside the front wheel are two terminals for charging via the charging dock, three cliff sensors, and the two side brush mounts. We can use the RS1 without the app and just use it via the remote control. After turning on the main power, let the device charge for 6 hours before use. Pressing the auto, spiral, or edge cleaning buttons on the remote will start the cleaning process. It is relatively quiet, rated at 55 decibels. The vacuum will clean until the battery power reaches 10%, then it'll find and return to the charging station. I say find and return instead of just return because the robot vacuum does not map the house. This means it has no idea where the charging station is. The robot vacuum uses a basic algorithm where it ping-pongs around the floor to clean. It may enter a room multiple times during a cleaning cycle, or it may not enter it at all. It may find the charging station after a cleaning cycle, or it may not. If it does get stuck in a tricky area with lots of obstacles, it will eventually find its way out, making right turns. The RS1 will avoid bumping into walls, but for smaller objects, it will bump into them if the proximity sensors are not facing the objects directly. This can leave scuff marks on furniture and floorboards after months of usage. If there was a rubberized strip across the front bumper, this would have minimized the possibility for scuffing surfaces. The RS1 does have a low profile, meaning it can go under couches and other furniture. Just be mindful about small objects and cables that can potentially cause the vacuum to get stuck. Since this vacuum does not have mapping, you cannot place no-go zones via the app. Speaking about the app, to pair the RS1 to the Smart Life app, you can scan the QR code under the lower cover to download the app. I'm doing this via iOS, but the steps should be similar on Android. With the Smart Life app open, sign up for an account if you don't have one by inputting your email and tapping the Get Verification Code button. Check your email and input the 6-digit code here. Create a password on the next screen and tap Done, and then tap Go to App. Here, we can tap Add Device. Since this is the first time using this app, there will be many pop-ups along the way. Allow or don't allow each one to your own preference. My robot was automatically detected, but if yours was not, make sure the robot vacuum is turned on, your Bluetooth is enabled on the phone, and press and hold both power and charge buttons on the robot vacuum for 3 seconds until you hear a beep and the green light flashes. Enter the Wi-Fi credentials and tap Next. After a short time, the robot vacuum will join the Wi-Fi network. Tap Done, and now we are connected. The Smart Life app displays the cleaning time, battery status, and allows us to start or stop cleaning and return to charge. Here we can select between the four cleaning modes, set schedules, find the robot if it gets stuck somewhere, and check when to service the filter and side brushes. In the Smart Life app, we can control the vacuum manually by pressing and holding down the directional buttons. In terms of performance, the RS1 certainly isn't the greatest. Because it uses a suction port instead of a roller, this vacuum will work better on hard surfaces. This eliminates having to remove hair out of a roller, but a roller generally performs better than straight suction. 
In some instances with larger particles, multiple passes are required. On surfaces with lots of gaps and crevices like this rug, this vacuum will struggle picking up debris. This is because the suction port cannot establish good suction on the surface. Each cleaning cycle was around 1 to 20 minutes for me. After 4 complete cleaning cycles, the dust tank was completely full. I was really surprised to see how full that dust tank was after 4 complete cycles. The RS1 is compatible with Google Assistant and Alexa. Let's link to Alexa by tapping the pencil icon and tapping third party control. Select Alexa and then tap link to Amazon Alexa. The Alexa app will open and it will prompt you to link or cancel this request. We'll go ahead and click link and the Smart Life app will confirm the link has succeeded. Inside the Alexa app, we can see the Aerobros RS1 has recently connected. Tap on it via the activity section and give the vacuum a name. Select update name and then choose a group to add your vacuum or you could just skip this step. I'll place it in my basement group. I'll tap add to group and the app will confirm the add. Alexa can display only the battery status and can only turn on and off the vacuum. There is no control over which modes to use or to return to charge. Alexa, basement vacuum return to charge. Sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, charge basement vacuum. I don't know how to set basement vacuum to that setting. Turning on the vacuum via the app will default it to auto mode. Alexa, turn on basement vacuum. Alexa, basement on. And turning it off will stop the vacuum dead in its tracks. Alexa, turn off basement vacuum. Although the controls are limited via Alexa, I think it is still great to see some smart home integration with the robot vacuum especially at this price. Overall, this is a great product for someone looking for an affordable robot vacuum for a small home or apartment. Sure, it lacks features like mapping, obstacle avoidance, mopping, and a self-emptying base station, but for a sub $200 product, this is completely understandable. Just keep in mind that the RS1 will require some human intervention from time to time. The RS1 currently sells on Amazon for $169.99 along with a $20 coupon, making it even more affordable. I would like to thank Aerobros again for sending me this product for review. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I cannot continue doing these videos without your support. And as always, thanks for watching.